Introduction Nimitz-class carriers have been the face of the U.S. Navy. It has been one of the most important assets of the U.S. Armed Forces and has enabled power projection far off from the U.S. homeland. USS Nimitz, lead ship of Nimitz-class, was commissioned in 1975, displacing about 100,000 tons when fully loaded. A Nimitz-class carrier can steam faster than 30 knots, cruise without resupply for 90 days, and launch aircraft to strike targets hundreds of miles away. The Nimitz design has accommodated many new technologies over the decades, but its ability to accept the most recent technical advances is limited. Major limitations include limited electrical power generation and increased weight due to upgrades, which eats into ship stability. Ford-class supercarriers are being built to replace some of the United States Navy's existing Nimitz-class carriers from 2016. The first ship of this class is Gerald R. Ford. The ship of this class is expected to be in service with the U.S. Navy till 2065. The carriers have been envisaged to be more efficient and future-proof. Ford-class is exploiting the latest technological advances in shipbuilding area and feature a huge number of improvements over the Nimitz-class. In this video, we will look into the five most important improvements. Number 5. Automation and Air Conditioning Ford-class has been designed keeping in mind the cost of an individual sailor. The ship is more automated than any before it, which gives it increased capability with reduced crew. Automation has been implemented wherever possible, which has reduced crew size, which in turns lowers operating costs. Ford-class carriers total of only 2,600 sailors, about 700 fewer than a Nimitz class. Considering the 50 years lifespan of the carrier, this will translate to billions of dollars in saving. The carrier has fully air-conditioned crew compartments, drastically improving the living condition of the crews and help in getting more out of each crew. Number 4. Electromagnetic Aircraft Launch System Nimitz-class carriers got planes moving for takeoff using steam-actuated catapults. The system required a lot of steam piping, a large condensate return, and tons of fresh water. They also have a lot of maintenance issues. Plus, with steam actuation, the majority of the force is being transferred to the airplane at the beginning of the stroke, in a jolt. This puts stress on an airframe, and thus reduces lifespan of the multi-million dollar planes. Ford class uses Electromagnetic Aircraft Launch System, EMALS. The system uses linear induction motor with an electric current to generate a magnetic field. That field then propels a carriage down a track. Since the power delivery is linear, it negates the deficiencies of steam catapult. Number 3. More power and better efficiency. The heart of any aircraft carriers is the nuclear reactors, which provide the required power. Ford class has newly designed reactors. Two Bechtel A1B nuclear reactors are installed on each Ford class carrier. Each one of these are capable of producing 300 megawatts of electricity, triple the 100 megawatts of each Nimitz class. The huge power supply provides for the legroom required for future expansions, like inducting laser guns. Also, compared to the Nimitz class reactor, the Ford reactor have about half as many valves, piping, major pumps, condensers, and generators, which reduced maintenance cost and lower space requirements. Number 2. Improved Radar Ford class has an integrative, active, electronically scanned array search and tracking radar system. The dual-band radar, DBR, utilizes a multi-tier, dual-band tracker, which consists of an X-band tracker, an S-band tracker, and a central tracker. The central tracker merges the two signals to provide a comprehensive situational awareness. The X-band tracker is optimized for low latency to support its mission of providing defense against fast, low-flying missiles, while the S-band tracker is optimized for large area coverage. This new system has no moving parts, therefore minimizes maintenance and manning requirements. 
Also, the island is kept smaller by replacing 6 to 10 radar antennas with a single 6-faced radar. Number 1. Better deck with smaller inland. The Ford class has a newly designed deck. It has three aircraft elevators instead of four in Nimitz. Eliminating one of the elevators further increased the ship's capabilities by leaving room for other things, like having a dedicated helicopter landing pad. The island is also smaller and farther aft than the Nimitz class. This way, space for flight deck operations and aircraft maintenance is increased. The result is impressive. Ford class is capable of generating 30% more sorties, flight missions, per day than Nimitz class. This is huge gain since the offensive as well as defensive capabilities of the carrier gets a major lift. The increased open spaces also provide for great transformational potential, like the ability to install directed energy weapons and deployment of unmanned aircrafts in future. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting. Kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.